think that's very newsworthy. Um, and so I'm sure there are a lot of people here might be interested in your reaction to it. And uh, that is that uh, President Trump's former campaign manager, uh, a federal judge found that, uh, determined that he lied to the FBI, lied to, uh, I guess it was Congress as well, lied to Robert Mueller's uh, folks, and uh, therefore broke his plea uh, deal. So I guess the question is, why do you think somebody would do something like that when he now faces, unless he's pardoned by the president, a significant prison sentence? I can't say for sure. The, yeah, it's a big deal when someone lies in a way that's likely to be found out. I mean, you know you're up against with Bob Mueller's team. And the consequences are going to be life in prison. And so, obviously, one possibility is he's lying in the hopes he'll get pardoned. He's lying because what he's lying about would be very damaging to somebody he feels a sense of loyalty to. But I'll, I want to be, give you the third option, which is entirely possible. Sometimes people are just liars. Yeah. <laughs> and people lie. You've all dealt with people like this. They lie when it makes no sense whatsoever. So I can't say for sure, but I know it's really serious, and lying matters. It matters. Again, Republicans used to think it matters. When Bill Clinton lied on the the grand jury, Republicans thought that was important. Now it's a process crime. It's not a process crime. It's a crime that strikes at the heart of this nation's justice system. And it has to be punished severely.